Hello and welcome to a special edition of Sunspots here at the Apple Bowl uh, in the Sun Clubhouse. My name is Evan Cook, uh, pleased to be joined by the president of the Okanagan Sun, Les Weiss, here to talk a little bit of football and talk about this team that uh, you've been involved with for some time. Wanted to kind of talk a little bit about your history being involved in football here in Kelowna. How did you first get involved with the Sun? Well, my family and I moved here in uh, 1983, um, and I had a young family at the time, and a, and a gentleman by the name of uh, Lawrence Nagy, who was a coach here for many years, uh, had approached me about getting involved, and uh, with my history of playing, uh, I played at Simon Fraser back in the days with Louis Pisagli, and had some pretty successful teams there, and they were looking for coaches at that time, and uh, he phoned me up and said, would you like to get involved and start coaching? And I said, Absolutely, and uh, it's uh, been I think 35 or 34 years uh, since I've been with them, and it's been a it's been a great, uh, great experience, and uh, love being here. Yeah, how how has that kind of gone? Starting out in the coaching ranks, and then moving along and doing really just about everything with this team along the way. Uh, you've been, like you say, a former player, a former coach on really all sides of the ball. But how has that progression kind of gone with you tackling? tons of stuff for this organization. Well, a number of years ago, like I said, when, once, uh, you know, the coaching thing kind of uh, went along and then uh, a gentleman by the name of Barry and X, uh, Dr. Barry and X, who started the program uh, back in 1981, uh, he, he was gone for a while and then came back in 88 and uh, took over as president for I think two or three years after that. And then he stepped aside and I got out of the coaching and got on the board of directors and it just it kind of ran from there. We had a, a small band of directors at the time. Uh, Royce Hetherington who's been here almost as long as I have and Bob Lindsay uh, who've been so instrumental in this program's growth. Um, and I jumped on board with them and, and uh, just took it from there and then uh, you know I took over as a, a GM for 22 years. Uh, we had a very successful run there with Lawrence Nagy and and uh, the team has always done well. There's been always community support. And I've enjoyed my, you know, my time with the team. And uh, it just basically started from there. As you were GM with this team, talk about what it's like approaching players, getting players to come here to Kelowna to play. Have you seen that progression over the years of this program getting more widely known and more widely respected uh, among players out there looking for a shot to play junior football? Well, you know what, Evan, you know, there's, uh, this program is very well known. Um, I ran in, I've run into a lot of professional players uh, who I've talked to from all over North America, from the NFL, from CFL. As amateur football goes in this country, there's not a better place to play than the Okanagan Sun. Players who have played in the NFL uh, have, the, you know, uh, Danny Watkins, uh, you know, uh, Mo Allen Weeby, uh, who's played there. Um, Terrence Houston, Jermaine Haley, uh, who are here, speak so highly of this program uh, that it is a it is a wonderful place to play for players who are maybe who are taking a year off of college, who aren't ready to go to college, um, you know. And it's uh, it's a great program. It's a great place to play. Uh, makes our job very you know. It's uh, certainly uh, you're, you're recruiting against some great teams, you know, in this conference and throughout the uh, Western Canada, but. Um, you know, kids are always, when you talk about the Okanagan Sun and playing here, uh, kids, you know, will certainly give us a listen. And you talked earlier about some of the names, some of the faces that were here back in the early 80s when you guys got this thing going. And does it surprise you sometimes to look around and see how many of those folks are still around with yourself today? Guys that a lot have been here close to day one or day one, but they're still here and they're still giving to the program. You know, it's, it's funny you should say that because like when I talk about the Bob Lindsay's and the Royce Hetherington's who've been involved, who have, you know, uh, in, in the case like a Bob Lindsay was president here for many years and now he's doing our 50-50. Uh, once you get, you know, it's almost like a hook, hey, and uh, it's a great, it's, it's a camaraderie, hey, you know, um, not just from the players but from the board of directors and, and the people who are involved at every level. Terry Britton, one of our original trainers. Uh, is still here from 1981, who built the you know the training room with his own hands, uh, and and those people have put their heart and soul into this organization. 
uh, and you can't get rid of them because it is, it is a very special group of people who belong to this club, uh, love being here. I mean, there's times when you want to pull your hair out because it is a volunteer organization and it's a tremendous amount of work to run this program. Uh, and uh, those people are also valuable to this organization. Speaking of the history too, I mean, the room we're sitting in has quite a lot of history. This clubhouse actually burned down and had to be kind of rebuilt from the bottom up. Talk a little bit about that history element because there's a lot of it in this room we're sitting in right now. Well, you know, we've replaced a lot of the history with the, you know, the names on the walls. Uh, I got a call, it's funny, I got a call one night about three in the morning from the fire department said, hey, you had a little fire down here, do you want to come and check it out? And I said, was it that bad? And he said, yeah, you should probably come down and have a look. It was, and it was extensively just done. Uh, and we had to rebuild it. Uh, and uh, the city, the city uh, helped us out tremendously. Uh, we are a big part of this city. Uh, we've been here for a long time and they recognize how valuable this organization is to it and they, they threw in a, you know, a, a lot of support for it. But as you look around, there is a lot of names here. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people who have passed who, uh, you know, who haven't uh, been able to re-sign the wall. But uh, I think, um, you know, that, you know, that there's, uh, whenever a player comes back here, they'll come up here if, and, and re-sign the wall. Let's talk as well a little bit about where the program is at right now. In the BCFC in particular, there's been some good competition this year. Obviously, West Shore is right up there. Uh, VI Raiders have been right up there as well. But as this team looks forward in a potential playoff run, uh, how does this team prepare for and go up against really big powerhouses out of that Prairie Division as well? We all know about Saskatoon and they came in here and uh, showed us the strength of that program last year, for example. How does this team go in and compete with really big programs like that? Well, you know what, I mean, when you talk about the Hilltops, um, you know, I mean, it's obviously a very storied uh, tradition there. When you go to uh, their new stadium there, uh, you know, and it's, it's always hard to measure up because they have a big talent pool within the city of Saskatoon, but they also have a, an organization much like ourselves and people are so proud of that organization winning so many championships. Uh, and, and you look in our league and, uh, you know, I was saying last week, even after we played Kamloops, I know that their organization, Dino up there, who's the president of that club, has given it their heart and soul. And I, I honestly think that they're an up and coming team. Um, and I think from a, a, a you know, a parody, you know, we want parity. I mean, everybody in this league wants to win, you know, and we'll all, you know, give it our, our best effort. Um, so you just, you take it one, one step at a time. Uh, our coaches, I think, have done, you know, um, an incredible job. They have to prepare for, you know, even Chilliwack, you know, this year. I know that they've really struggled, but uh, they've even given everybody, you know, their hands full. So, you know, you take it one game at a time. You hope you come out on top. Uh, I know that they give it their best effort. The coaches are here pretty much as we speak, here studying film and, uh, you know, you just, you just go for it. You just take one game at a time and hopefully we'll come on the top. Now, where do you see this program going in the future? What does the future of the Okanagan Sun look like here in Kelowna and as well as it relates to the rest of this BC Football Conference? Well, I mean, again, uh, you know, I mean, 30, since 1981, I don't even know how many years that is, I'd love to try that, 35 years. 36 now. 36, yeah. 36 years now. You know, uh, we want to always strive to be, you know, I think our big goal has been try to get more, more uh, kids in school. Uh, we'd love to have as many players as we can in education. Uh, and again, I want to bring up their name, JDS Energy, without Jeff Stibbert at JD, uh, JDS Energy, we wouldn't be where we are today. Uh, you know, the on-field stuff is great, but I think that we're here to help kids progress to next level, give them a place to play football, uh, a good organization, uh, help them with their education, or help them get to the next level, which would be a university, or help them get on to the CFL or possibly NFL, like some have. And I think that's where I see this team going. You know, I just want to keep building that scholarship fund, keep helping kids progress in life. Um, to me, that's... That, to me, is more than the wins and losses. That's the important thing, is we make good kids, good citizens, 
uh, good community leaders. Um, that, to me, is very important. Les Weiss is the president of the Okanagan Sun, and this has been a special edition of Sunspots. Thanks for watching.